Hey everyone, I was going to do a review today but um, I've had to do a few other things around the house and um, just haven't really had the time so I'm going to do something else quickly instead because I wanted to get something out um, before the weekend and then I'll, I'll try and do something over the weekend as well if I get the time. Um, but um, another package in the post, so I'll open that in a sec. And um, just um, show you a couple of things I've picked up. I um, got this the other day. This is um, the Beast Hunters version of RC. Um, nice toy, I like it, I like it a lot. Um, only complaint is in bike mode, um, the wings and the arms really don't peg in very well. Um, Whereas on the original RC they they're going fine. So either the way it's been redesigned slightly, or maybe it's just mould degradation. Um, but for whatever the reason is, it, it doesn't fit together too well. Luckily the um, the weapon that uh, sort of fits around it, this crossbow thing, that kind of keeps everything in check in, instead, really. But um, other than that, I really like it actually. So. Um, yeah, there's a little mini review right there. Um, now the other thing I got, not Transformers, but a um, bit of a holy grail of mine, toy-wise. Um, for anyone who can remember the toy line Road Blasters, and they were basically like matchbox cars with um, accessories and weapons that plugged into them. Um, if anyone read the Eagle and Mask comic back in, uh, I'm guessing probably the mid to late 80s, there was a, a strip in that called Computer Warrior, and um, where this the kid got sucked into um, his computer or was in in the computer somehow, and he was playing games, but for real, and they used to tie it in with games that were around at the time. I think it was they were working in collaboration with a company called US Gold. Um, and they sort of, it was basically a way of promoting their games and writing a strip at the same time. And one of the games they played was Road Blasters, which was, you yeah, know, I had the game as well. And I had a few of the toys um, when I was younger, but I always wanted one particular one, as is always the way, and um, could never find it. And I have literally been looking for this for years. And um, I saw one on eBay just before auto assembly. And I was like, I could have bought it, but I thought, well, it's gonna, the only way I can buy it is by dipping into my A budget, and I didn't want to do that. So I thought, well, it's you know, it's probably might be there still after AA, um, and unfortunately, someone bought it <laughs> about a week beforehand. So that was like, oh no, I've missed another one. But fortunately, um, earlier this week, or was it last week? I forget. I, and certainly within the last week or so ish. Um, the same seller happened to put up another one and uh, it turned up the other day and it is let's get that in shot Speed King and this is the one I always wanted it was the the main car they seem to use in the, in the comic strip and that's probably the reason I always wanted it um, but yeah awesome it's even got the um, original price tag on it I don't know if it's going to focus, there we go, £2.39, I paid considerably more than that, and the um, card is unpunched, so it's, you know, it's, there's a few creases and where are we over here, stuff like that in the corner, but for a toy from about, I don't know, it was about 87, 88, something like that, that's not bad really, is it? But yeah, so yeah, that was something I've, um, outside of Transformers, that I've been looking for for literally years, and uh, finally got managed to get hold of one, so... That was pretty cool. So, anyway, on to the main event, as it were. Uh, this is a package that came to me. I think it came, it came to me yesterday, but I only picked it up this, uh, this morning because it was I uh, never in when packages are delivered, basically. Um, so I had to pick it up from the sorting office. And this was sent to me by Ian, LF82. Um, I think I know mostly what's inside here because we've been talking on Facebook and he said he was going to help me out with something but um, yeah it's, uh, 
another box that looks relatively easy to get into. I don't know if you guys are taking pity on me now after my first few unboxings that went horrendously badly, or uh, or what. But uh, yeah, it seems to be you just make, you're making it almost too easy now. It's too easy. Anyway, let's let's get this open and have a look what's inside. Uh, trusty knife. I'm doing this completely wrong because you should never cut towards you. Uh, there we go. Uh, what was that? It's just stuck on the side slightly as well. There we go, that should do it. If I can get hold of it. Right then, let's see what we've got. We have got, in no particular order, we've got a MicroMaster Tailspin, and um, this is because uh, Ian saw my last video and I had the Road Patrol, whatever they're called, I can never remember the, the patrol names of the MicroMasters. Um, and I was missing this one. Um, I think I've got it somewhere still, but um, Ian said he had one he could send me just in case I don't have it still. So that's cool. So I've got the um, complete set of those with me in this room now. So I'll um, I'll put those up on the shelf, add it to the collection up there. Actually, I'm, um, you can't see the other shelf. The, the other G1 shelf is kind of just sort of here. And um, that's just got Decepticons on it, but I've got hardly any. So I'll probably just use it for... Uh, more Autobots really. Um, you can say the middle shelf, well it's not really the middle shelf but it's, where are we? Uh, this one here is at the minute it's last stand of the Wreckers, um, but I was talking on Facebook with Ian and Ed, uh, Bumble Jumper 82, and we sort of uh, came to, uh, well I came to the decision that I may turn that into just fiction shelf. Because um, I've been reading IDW, um, more than meets the eye. I've read volume one and volume two now, and really enjoying it. So no doubt they'll end up being toys from that board at some point. Um, volume three is on the way. I just had confirmation today. Um, I hope you're uh, keeping up, Ed. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, tailspin. He's a nice little simple MicroMaster. There we go. Probably won't focus on him, but. Can we get in? There we go. And there he is. So that's pretty cool. So that's that set completed. Um, now this is the main thing that sparked this off. Uh, Cyberverse Twin Strike. I don't have this one. Um, I've got pretty much all the other Beast Hunters um, Cyberverse that's been released and I think I, I don't think I've got Bumblebee actually but I've got everything else um, and I I didn't pick this one up when they first came out um, there was one in my local Tesco and then I've never seen another one since apart from an AA where I saw one for like about 7 quid and it's like well I'm not paying pretty much double um, what these figures are worth so and then I haven't been able to find one anywhere so but uh, Ian said he, uh, I think it was, I can't remember where he said he got it from, but uh, was it Morrison's or, so it was a supermarket, I'm pretty sure it was a supermarket, he said he'd seen it in there and would uh, pick it up for me if uh, if they still had it, and they did, so there we go, that keeps my Cyberverse nice and up to date. And the last thing, I don't know what it is, because he said there was going to be a surprise in there. Um, Let's unravel this. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, and it is um, a little matrix. I'm not sure what that's from. He did. He, uh, what was it? He told me it was. He did tell me we were talking about one of these, and I can't remember. That's not going to focus. It. Let's try a bit closer. There we go. What did he tell me? I can't remember what he told me it came from. Um, was it 
Is it a Rodimus figure? I've got feelings of Rodimus figure. Um, but as I don't have any, I didn't think I have any Optimus Primes up on the shelf currently. Um, or other than the like the MP1, the Toys R Us one, I shall have to find someone else to wear to carry or wear the Matrix. So, hmm, who will be my Matrix bearer? I shall have a think about that. It's not going to be Leadfoot, fat bastard. You're going to eat this if you don't shut up. You got the touch. Um, and uh, there's a little note in here as well. Ian did tell me to read the note after I looked at the stuff, um, so I've deliberately left that till last. And it says, uh, as promised, Twin Strike has now shown up. I recall you saying the cons are outnumbered. Yeah, God, there's loads more Cyberverse Autobots than there are Decepticons. I hope Tailspin isn't in too bad a condition for you. Now the race car patrol is holding. There we go, race car patrol. Um, no, he's fine. He's really good. He needs a little bit of a dust. Um, but I'll just, I've got some like, antiseptic wipe things I normally clean these with, so I'll just give him a once over that and he will be absolutely fine. Um, as for the surprise I mentioned, that was an extra with Masterpiece Rodimus. He came with a smaller one in his chest and I've still got one with Prime. Should you ever uh, have another stressful day at work, hopefully seeing that will light your darkest hour. <laughs> yeah, I've had some rubbish days at work lately. Um, Oh god, let's not get let's not go there. Um, keep up the great work with your videos. Your friend Ian. P.S. Sorry about my handwriting. You may need ID, IDW rewind to translate. <laughs> it's fun. I've seen far worse. Trust me, um, including some of the people I work with. God. Um, but yeah, so that is really cool. So thank you very much, Ian. Really appreciate that. Um, I shall give. Tailspin a little dust and I shall dig back out the, the rest of his uh, patrol uh, mates and add them to the shelf display which is coming along nicely but there's always room for more. Um, so yeah I'm going to try and do a review over the weekend and that will be, um, well it's, it's, it, I've got to do Blaster still from um, Solar Requiem and I know Stu keeps reminding me he's chomping at the bit to see that so um, yeah I, I need to get it done, I really need to get it done. So I, I will have it out before the end of the weekend, um, and if not, you can, I don't know, kill me or something. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's it for now. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you sometime over the weekend. Catch you later.